Welcome to Open Tierra. Today we are looking at Estonia, a Baltic nation in Northern Europe renowned for its captivating blend of medieval architecture, stunning landscapes and a rich cultural heritage. How did Estonia gain its independence through a song? Join us and stay to uncover Estonia's fascinating history, from its resilient fight for independence to its vibrant society and a deep appreciation for the arts and nature. Estonia is a northern European country situated in the Baltic region along the eastern shores of the Baltic Sea. Its landscape spans forested wetlands, islands, lakes, rivers and coastal areas. Estonia has a temperate climate despite its northern latitude, with a total area of 45,227 square kilometers. Estonia extends 360 kilometers from north to south and 240 kilometers from east to west. It shares borders with Latvia and Russia. Estonia can be divided into five geographic regions, the West Estonian Archipelago off the Baltic coast, the northern coastal plains along the Gulf of Finland, the interior central uplands, the southern hills and flatlands, and the islands of Lake Peipus. The terrain consists largely of forested marshlands with bogs, fens, and wooded dunes near the coasts. The inland has rolling hills carved by rivers. The largest rivers are the Emajogi and Narva. There are over 1,400 lakes, the largest being Lake Papus on the Russian border. Much of the coastline along the Baltic Sea is indented with bays, straits and inlets, including the Gulf of Riga. The region that is now Estonia was first settled in ancient times by tribal Finnic peoples related to Finns and Hungarians. The area was located along Baltic trade routes, leading Vikings and other seafaring peoples to build settlements along the coasts. Estonia emerged as a battleground between regional powers, being conquered at various points by the Danes, Germans, Swedes, Poles and Russians throughout the early medieval period. Much of inland Estonia came under the domination of Baltic German nobles who established the Livonian Confederation. Sweden gained control over Estonia in the 16th century, incorporating northern parts of the region into its empire. This brought Estonia under the harsh feudal system that Sweden imposed, with local Estonian peasants reduced to serfdom to serve Swedish nobility. At the same time, Poland-Lithuania occupied parts of southern Estonia starting at the 1600s. Estonian peasants endured centuries of repression and stagnation under Swedish and Polish feudal rule during this era. The tide turned in the early 1700s as Tsar Peter the Great of Russia defeated Sweden and conquered Estonia. While local Baltic German nobles were allowed to maintain their privileges, Estonia was now firmly incorporated into the Russian Empire. Over the next century under Russian Tsars, Estonians faced Russification policies aimed at suppressing the Estonian language and culture in favor of Russian identity. However, this oppression inadvertently gave rise to a sense of Estonian national awakening and identity. Estonia took advantage of the turmoil in Russia to declare independence in 1918 in the aftermath of World War I. This early independence period was short-lived, however, as the Soviet Union forcibly annexed Estonia in 1940 and imposed Stalinist totalitarian rule. They suffered under Soviet policies of collectivization, mass deportations and Russian immigration that threatened to extinguish Estonian cultural identity. In 1941, Nazi Germany occupied Estonia during World War II, committing atrocities against the Jewish population. From 1944 to 1991, Estonia was reabsorbed into the Soviet Union and designated the Estonian Soviet Socialist Republic. The Soviets pushed intensive Russification with mass immigration of Russians to Estonian cities as ethnic Estonians were deported. 
This Soviet repression sparked the singing revolution in the late 1980s, as Estonians protested Russian domination through peaceful song festivals and demonstrations. Capitalizing on Soviet decline, they declared renewed independence in 1991. After transitioning to a free market economy, Estonia gained security through joining the EU and NATO in the 2000s. However, tensions remain over the status of ethnic Russians living in Estonia. Estonians are ethnically and linguistically related to other Baltic peoples like Latvians and Lithuanians. About 68% of the population is ethnically Estonian. However, Estonia is home to a significant Russian minority of about 25% of the population, largely due to immigration and Russification policies under the Soviet era. There are also small minorities of Ukrainians, Belarusians and Finns living in Estonia. Historically, Estonia was a pagan society with Norse religious influences. Christianity arrived with the Northern Crusades in the medieval era, bringing Catholicism and Orthodoxy. Today, Estonia is one of the least religious countries in the world, with only 14% of the population identifying as believers. About 9% are Lutheran Protestant, 16% are Orthodox Christians, linked to the Russian minority, and 2% are Catholic. The rest profess no religious affiliation. Atheism spread widely during the Soviet era of state atheism. The Estonian language is the official language and is part of the Finnic group, closely related to Finnish. Estonian uses a Latin alphabet. Russian is also prevalent, spoken natively by much of the Russian minority population. Under Soviet rule, Russian was forced as the official language, leading to widespread bilingualism. However, since independence, Estonian has been re-established as the sole official language, leading to tension with the Russian minority. English is the most common foreign language learned in schools today. Since regaining independence in 1991, Estonia has transitioned from a Soviet command economy to a modern free market economy integrated with the West. Robust economic growth has given it one of the highest per capita incomes in Central and Eastern Europe. Key sectors include machinery, information technology, telecommunications, food products, wood products, textiles and electronics. Since adopting the Euro in 2011, Estonia has become part of the Eurozone. Unemployment stands around 5%. Weaknesses include labour shortages and low productivity. Extensive free market reforms laid the groundwork for rapid growth, including privatisation of state-owned firms, tax changes and policies to attract foreign investment. EU and NATO membership further boosted the economy. GDP growth averaged over 7% from 2000 to 2007 before the 2008 global recession. Growth returned by 2010. Their GDP is now around $37 billion. Estonian culture is rooted in a long, oft-troubled history at the crossroads of Western and Eastern influences. It reflects the traditions of its Finnic people tempered by centuries under Danish, German, Swedish and Russian rule. Notable Estonians include composer Arvo Pert, symbolist artist Christian Raud, authors Jan Cross and Eduard Vildi, and actress Carmen Kass. The Kalevi Poeg, Estonia's national epic poem, remains a touchstone of literature. Other major works include Anton Hansen Tamsar's Truth and Justice Realist Pentalogy, Estonia boasts rich traditions in choral music, folk songs, and classical composers like Pert. Estonian cuisine reflects the country's northern European climate, with staples like pork, potatoes, rye bread, cabbages, and dairy products. While relatively simple, 
Estonian food has been influenced by German, Scandinavian and Russian cooking over the centuries. Verivorst, a type of black pudding made with pig's blood, barley and seasoning. This sausage has ancient pagan roots as a food for winter solstice celebrations. It remains popular today, grilled or fried with lingonberry sauce. Pirukas, these savory pastries can be filled with meat, vegetables, mushrooms, or even fruit. Pirukas are a versatile snack or light meal, reminiscent of the Russian piroshki. Rosolie, a hearty beet salad mixed with herring, potatoes, carrots, apples, and sour cream. This cold salad combines sweet and sour flavors. Kiluvelib, an open-faced sandwich showcasing Estonia's beloved dark rye bread. Toppings range from egg salad to ham, with cheese to herring. If you enjoyed this video on Estonia, you'll love this next one.